Hello everyone, um, or probably no one. Um, today's kind of uh, distro overview, it's actually an OS, not a distro, um, overview kind of install demo is going to be uh, OpenBSD 5.7, uh, latest and greatest from OpenBSD released not too long ago. Um, I'm going to use a little uh, a QMU to do the virtualization emulation um, uh, for the AMD64 platform. So let's begin. This hopefully should be pretty short. Uh, OpenBSD is a small, compact OS. It's got everything you need. Um, I use it for, uh, you know, my home router and firewall. It is fantastic. So one of the best things I've found about a text mode installer, use QMU, you can actually use the Curses interface. So you can attach a screen session to it very flexible so you don't need to worry about VNC, X forwarding, SDL, you get curses. So let's, uh, let's run through the install here really quickly. Uh, you know, accepting most of the defaults. Again, this isn't how you would install real system. This is just for demonstration purposes. Um, OpenBSD was a, a fork of NetBSD, which was a fork of FreeBSD which came from the old, you know, single BSD systems like 4.4 Lite um, and the previous uh, BSDs, which came from Berkeley, which were related to the original AT&T Unix. So, in some ways, the BSDs have a more true Unix heritage uh, than something like Linux and the GNU stuff, um, which, you know, GNU's not Unix, right? So. The BSD, while it's it's not you know real AT&T code, it is it is close. And, and in a lot of ways, I like the BSD way of doing things. Uh, you know, it, it's simple, it's no nonsense. You know, things like RC.conf. Again, I use Slackware for my Linux distro because of the simple startup and initialization. You know, they keep it simple. Um, we'll see how big the total install here is um, when we're done. Uh, but it's it's pretty small, right? This is a full base system, so we get, you know, boot stuff, the kernel, um, you know, basic utilities, uh, X windows, man pages, games apparently, um, and I, I think the the install CD is, you know, it, what fits on a CD. I mean, when was the last time you saw a, a Linux distro that fit on a CD that give you give you this stuff? So it's nice and small, compact. Comes with a piece of software OpenBSD is probably most famous for, uh, which is PF or the Packet Filter, their firewall software. I use it, Home Firewall, fantastic. Really easy to set up, wonderful piece of software. Uh, it's also available on FreeBSD, and uh, NetBSD has something called NPF, which is, is similar. Um, so. Let's uh, see if we can get in now. Uh, boot off to the first hard drive and see if this worked. There we go. So that was, what, a two minutes to install under emulation? Um, so one of the things about the, the NetBSD and OpenBSD, both I find work really well on an older laptop. You have a little bit of older generation laptop. It's not as powerful. Maybe it's only got four gigs of memory. OpenBSD or NetBSD are perfect fit for it. Uh, NetBSD especially, uh, last time I checked, and I haven't, you know, I mainly run this stuff, uh, you know, for uh, kind of dedicated things, virtualization to do build tests, or, you know, as I say, OpenBSD for my security. Run this stuff as, a, you know, as a headless operation, um, but NetBSD at any rate has very good support for laptops. OpenBSD does as well in my experience. So we redirected um, the SSH session there, but I don't want to. I don't want to mess with my known hosts. Um, so let's log in here and see how much space it's taking up. So we've used about 600 megabytes for a full install of the base system. That's not bad. That's not bad. Again, I'm not going to run X here because I'm just on a curses display, but that has some advantages. So let's uh, see about installing some packages. So 
I don't like straight old VI. Um, I prefer Elvis. So let's put that out there. So installing packages with OpenBSD, so easy. Um, and OpenBSD has, they have the, the attitude that unless you really know what you're doing, stay away from ports, right? Use the pre-built packages, which helps with security. Uh, what's another package we could add? Mm. See if they have SimH, you know, the, the mini computer simulator. We got SimH in here. Though that might be one level of indirection too much to be simulating something under emulation, you know, at uh, one level too much. Not a whole lot else to say about, um, let's see what compiler it comes with in 5.7. Um, you get GCC, uh, 421, so an older GCC. Uh, pretty sure you can get uh, support for Clang. Um, you know, uh, again, I do a lot of development building of packages. I appreciate any system that can host development right out of the box. Uh, let's go add another package just because this will be fun. And so we can see how convenient the package, is, the package management system here is. Uh, again, I prefer the Slackware build from source, or uh, again something like package source on NetBSD. You can use the the ports here; it's just their documentation recommends against it, but painless. Um, and of the BSDs, if I were to pick one to run, it's kind of tied between OpenBSD and NetBSD. Uh, NetBSD has a few more platforms that it can support with a wider compatibility list. OpenBSD has a pretty decent compatibility compatibility list too. You can run it on Vaxes, you can run it on Alphas, you know, I think Alphas, I don't know, I may have just made something up there. Whereas NetBSD, you give, get a few extra targets. Certainly much more than FreeBSD. And maybe Debian on the Linux side has similar levels of support, uh, but certainly none of the major players doing a Slackware, and that's uh, x86, x86-64, um, what is it, the S390s, the, the IBM for virtual uh, mainframes, and now ARM, and that's it on the Slackware side, and I think, uh, you know, that's pretty indicative of what a lot of them, a lot of the Linux distros will support. So if you have some oddball hardware, try out one of the BSDs. Uh, not only will you probably grow to love them uh, for their simplicity and everything makes sense, um, but they, uh, they provide some useful features, uh, especially in security, OpenBSD side. Well, thanks. This was a, a quick video. Um, if you comment, let me know something else you want to see. That's it.